Hello again. Happy, what day is it? Thursday. <laughs> um, we are here in our happy place at the store. Going to do another live tutorial for you. Let's get comfortable. Stop making noise with our chairs. <laughs> Hold on for just a minute. Let's wait and get people on here. Well, we could talk about yesterday, what we did yesterday, and maybe somebody wants to see a picture of it, and if you didn't see it, you might want to go back and look at it. This was the straw hat. Um, the download is on there now. And bear with us. We are trying to get things on as quick as we can, but um, this is not all we do in our life is just this right here. So, um, like I said, bear with us. We're working. Um, this was the straw hat we did yesterday. If you missed that video, you can go back and jump on that and get that one, okay? Um, and now new information for today. Uh -huh. So um, last night I was sewing on my, oh, this is the project we're gonna do today, the bow pillow, so that you know what we're doing. Um, get a pen and paper, cause there's lots of information today, goody stuff that we're gonna do. So last night I was sewing on my um, UFO list, which is a whole other topic of discussion. And I, had I thought lots of thread at home, um, only to come to find out that I don't have lots of thread at home. So in all that threadness, I thought people are panicked about not having toilet paper. I am kind of panicked about not having thread. So I fixed that this morning, got lots of thread now, so I'm golden thread wise. But I thought it would be kind of fun to do like a spool challenge with you ladies while we're kind of on a public hiatus here. So um, we're gonna run this spool challenge um, starting now until April 15th. So um, count the number of spools that you empty and it's going to be the honor system. So you keep track of how many spools you empty from now until April 15th and we're going to do uh, I rule the spool, spool rules or something kind of mug that you're going to win. So um, and another way to keep you guys connected so we realized on here you can't really respond to each other like you might want to so we're going to start a closed group um, that is just asked to join and you'll join. It's not like it's something crazy, but so that you can share each other's like what you're working on to keep you guys kind of connected. And it's going to be called You So Girl. So, you know, with the sheep in mind, it's E-W-E, so, and then so, S-E-W, girl. So You So Girl. Um, we'll get that group up and going so that you can kind of interact with each other and have a good time doing it. So these are fabrics that just came in today. So if you're looking for pillowcases, we think these would be lovely to do. It's like a row of thistles and little flowers. And this is kind of a, um, not really periwinkle, but like a bluey, purpley with gold. And there's a pink with like little confetti sprinkles all over it. So pillowcases or the bow pillow that we're gonna do today too as well. So I'm going to set this other that we're advertising to the side, and we're going to go on bow pillows. Okay, so what you need for the bow pillow is you need two 13-inch pieces for your pillow back. So that would be this part here. And we've done them in different colorways too, and I'll show you the kits that we have as well. So these are quick and easy to do. So I can see them on your porch swing, on your patio furniture lots of places like that on your couch um they're just quick and easy and a lovely gift too i wanted to show you the different ways that we did the bows so that you can pick whichever way you want to do this one is done one way and the pastel one is done a different way so we'll talk about those two ways when we get farther in our steps okay so we have our two 13 inch square pieces and you could adjust the size of this if you want a bigger pillow. Um, these don't have any kind of zipper or envelope back to them. They're just sewn around and stuffed with polyfill. Some people don't like to do pillows that way because they want to be able to wash them easier. And sometimes if you have a pillow like this and you wash it, it's kind of hard to get it dry and the polyfill just wants to kind of glunk up sometimes in puddles. So, um, that's something to keep in mind if you want to do like a zipper and do a bigger pillow or a smaller pillow and actually put a pillow form in the inside you could do that as well too so we have this is going to be this part of the pillow the little birds this is from uh, I believe the fabric line is early birds 
So there's that. And then for the bow part of this pillow, we would be doing, this would be the bow part here. This is a polka dot. So then for this part, you're gonna need two pieces that are 11 by 14. So the one goes the one way, the east and west, and the other goes north and south, or horizontal, vertical, whichever way you wanna say it. So these get folded in half, and you would do a quarter inch seam along that long edge, all right? And you're gonna right side that out. So pretend this is sewn and right side it out, okay? And it's gonna go in the center of the pillow, north and south, or east and west, whichever way you wanna call it. So you see how you have extra fabric here? It's, you have more fabric than your pillow is, and that's fine. You need that extra pillow when you go to stuff it, okay? So just find your center, center that on that way. The same way with the other piece that you're gonna be doing, the other 11 by 14, and I'll say all these measurements again for you, that would go so it looks like a giant plus sign on your pillow, okay? Then lay your other piece on top of here, and sew, leaving an opening for stuffing and turning. Okay, once you'd have it so that it was sewn together and you can pretend it was sewn on the edge, you're also gonna need another little piece that's a four by five. And you really could make this the same color as the birds if you wanted to. We've just always done them the same color, but you could make it a whole different color if you wanted to. Um, if you have scraps that kind of all go together, use those, absolutely. So you're gonna fold this, so you end up with a two and a half by four inch piece. Sew along this line and then sew that right side out. So this then is this size piece, and you can do however you wanna do. If you wanna do it the way this one was done, there was just thread that was gathered on the bottom bow part and just tied tight. Can I show them real quick? Absolutely, show them real tight. It's just like a heavy pearl cotton thread or something like that, and you just sew it on there and sew it tight, okay? And then the other piece, this other little piece, gets around this part here. And you would sew your raw edges. You can even, if you want to serge them, you can serge them. You can top stitch them, whatever you want to do. And it just kind of gathers that top piece for you. And then that would get put on top of this. Or you can do, Sally did this one, and how Sally did hers was she just scrunched it around all of them at one time. So it gives you a different bow looking piece. She went around all four at one time. So it's really however you want to do that part. But um, they're quick, they're easy, they're fun to do. We have them in different kits for $10.99. So we would have this one. It's kind of a mint green with a apricot color. We have a chicken, one with chicken wire that we have. If you want one of these, we're happy to send them to you. You can see them. We have uh, one of the stomach and min, 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 oh, I can't even talk today. The patriotic one that we just showed there. We have that one. If you want um, a blue bow rather than a red bow, we could switch it out too. And we also have the one that reminds me of watercolor too. We have that kit too. However, we are happy to kit other things for you. And we've got some other ideas for you too. Um, maybe you're a sheep fan and you really like the sheep. <laughs> and you wish that you could do like a sheep with this or a sheep with this. We kind of got some things moved around. So if you want one of those, let us know. Um, another possibility that you could do, there's more sheepy babies if you want more sheep. And we kind of thought that looked sweet together too. If you don't, if you like the birds, but you're not a green fan, you can do the birds with a, like a turquoise or the birds with a red too, if you wanted the red. So, but if you're a Kansas Trouble girl and you wanna see a group in Kansas Trouble, let us know and we'll shoot you pictures as well too. And I wanna show these ones you showed a minute ago. Yeah, those would be really cute as bow pillows too. Very, very cute. Okay, so if you were not with us when we first started, I'm gonna repeat myself with the school challenge. So from now until April 15th, if you want to join our spool challenge, you can count the number of spools you empty. 
I know some of you have very big spools of thread and some of you have small spools of thread. Some of you have an embroidery machine that goes through a lot of thread. It's okay, we're gonna count it all. So, and it's the honor system. Um, the winner will get a... Yes, a really cute little, um, Amy will design a mug for us and it will be cute because she does cute stuff. And it will some, say something like, I rule the spools or spool ruler or something like that with a little cute little spool on it. And we're gonna have a closed Facebook group too. So you guys can kind of interact with each other. Maybe share more. projects, yes, pictures. Share, mm -hmm, help each other stay sane. Selfies, and, keep them appropriate. Yes, this is- I'm uh, speaking to you, Deb. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> and I'm sorry, I, I should have taken a picture of John and Moe's the other day when they were around and I, I just totally <clears> forgot about that. Sorry, Deb. <laughs> so it's gonna be called You So Girl, um, U E W E and so like so S E W and then girl. Okay. Um, another thing I want to show you today, and we'll talk about how you do this later, but it's also another kit that we have. So we do strips on towels, um, and it's a fabric like a border strip that's sewn onto a towel. And this one I did by machine. Again, if you're not a hand stitcher and you're a machine stitcher, this is all done by machine. So it's just uh, fused on a towel and then machine stitch with some of those pretty stitches that we don't use often on our machine. It's stitched on there too. So to go with that, shoot, I was gonna pull it off and bring it in. We have a kit that's done, a uh, table center. So it's got a nine patch in the middle with borders on each side. Um, maybe we can show you that when we do our drive-through video. So we are here today, but we're not opening the store for you to come in. So we kind of have curbside pickup and we want to do a video so you can see how that's going to work because I think it's going to be kind of hilarious. But anyway, so if, because we're not going to let people come in the store, um, we just don't think that's wise for us or for you either. But again, we want to help you if you're in the middle of a project and you run out. So orders that are here today, um, we're going to try to get them out and on their way. So if you call with a phone order or web order, we're trying to get those out to you. So, um, one more thing, a lady asked about, uh, April retreat and what our plans are for that, which is a valid question for those of you that are coming right now. We haven't canceled it. Um, we're just going to kind of wait and see how things shake out here the next while. Cause if we can, we think it would probably be good for everyone to get away a little bit. So if we're able to do that, we will, if we can, we will let you know. Um, and then they ask about adjoining rooms. Brown Grand does not have adjoining rooms. However, in your um, rooming list, I ask that rooms be close together, uh, side by side, across the hall, something like that. So adjoining rooms they don't have, but we can get you close together. So we'll do that for you as well. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. We try to answer them as they come up. So I hope you lovelies are having a good day today and you're let's see if anybody has fun staying safe. If you have a question about something, let us know here. We'll stay live for a little bit. Yeah, because you know me, I could talk all day long, all day long, and I do too. And yeah. well, what time are we going to go live for the show them the pickup um, window? Give us probably like 10 minutes because it's going to take a couple, it's going to take three of us actually to do it. So give us like 10 minutes so that we can get that um, fixed up for you so you can see it. And did you see I'm sporting my sheep shirt today? Yep. Mm -hmm. So there you go. I got my sheep and shirt stay on. tuned for our Facebook group. We'll yes. post that in a little bit. You guys yes. can join it. We don't have internet right now, so we're waiting and then we will have that up and running okay i don't think there's any questions awesome but good morning to all of you and we'll see you in about 10 minutes bye, -bye.